There is a new voice in the public arena joining the outcry against a group of neo-Nazis who most recently showed up at a drag brunch fundraiser here in Columbus last weekend. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. The Central Conference of American Rabbis is showing support for the LGBTQI community and condemning discrimination in all its forms. I would suggest that uh our own position has to do more with the, the, the dignity of every human being and the capacity of every human being to make their own decision about their lives and to live in a, a, a place of freedom where they can act on that within the dictates of their own sense of faith and, and moral conscience. Dressed in red with black ski masks, the neo-Nazis also displayed swastikas as they protested a drag queen fundraiser for the Kaleidoscope Youth Center. It brings up uh, for some the, the trauma uh, for those who were uh, living in, in Nazi Germany at the time of Kristallnacht or, or uh, even during the, the war uh, and who were victims and survivors themselves or especially even those now who are more active in our community and sharing their own stories but who are children of, uh, of Holocaust survivors. You see this kind of organized hatred on the streets of Columbus with people who are saying there will be bed, blood in the streets. Um, what should we make of this? We know from history, from American history, from world history, from Jewish history, we know that hatred flourishes in silence. And that when there is an attack, as there was in Columbus by this group, a, a, a hateful demonstration, that when others do not react to it, it gives license to those who wish to continue such actions to do so. The rabbis know not all religions embrace the gay, lesbian, transgender communities, but humanity and faith, they say, demand acceptance. We all need to protect each other's rights and freedoms. This is really a battle for the soul of Columbus, of Ohio, of the, of, of the nation of what will be the rights of individuals to live free of intimidation or fear, uh, what will be the rights of people to make their own decisions. And as Rabbi Kammer said, they don't have to agree with us. What we are here to do is promote that love and respect and dignity for every human being, no matter who they are, no matter where they live. We will have much more about the protests and the support coming from the Central Conference of American Rabbis this Sunday morning at 10 on The Spectrum.